unfortunately for these guys, um, all three years of their time at Christian Brothers was impacted in some way uh, by the pandemic. Uh, but fortunately for them, they've learned along the way how to overcome those challenges, uh, how to be resilient, how to be flexible uh, in their approach to their schoolwork and in their approach to themselves and their interactions with one another. My advice for you guys is that you take what you've learned um, over your three years here, the challenges that you've faced, uh, the qualities that you've uh, been taught along the way, uh, and you learn how to make the best of situations that sometimes are not going to be perfect. Uh, and that it's the people that you surround yourself with who will make you a better person and uh, who will help you to make uh, the world around you a better place. Favorite memory? Um, probably success. It was quarantine year. It was fun. It was a new class. Um, probably the best class I'll ever be in. The class of 2022 really stands out in my mind because of everything that they overcame with the COVID, uh, restrictions that were in place throughout fifth and sixth grade, the stuff we started with for seventh grade. But instead of stopping them or allowing it to inhibit them in any way, they grew closer because of all of those restrictions. And it really came out on their seventh grade retreat. Uh, they had not gone on any retreats because of the COVID restrictions. But their seventh grade retreats were really great and their class showed how united they were and how much they cared about each other. In fifth and sixth grade, they, were, they had the ping pong club. And every, and at seven o'clock every Friday, we'd, we'd go and play ping pong for like an hour. And I remember, the amount of arguments that came from a simple game of ping pong was unimaginable. And I just, that was really fun. So in the seventh grade basketball game, Finn Monahan, uh, he uh, crossed up Mr. Pratt and Mr. Pratt fell and hurt his ankle really bad. And the crowd went crazy and Mr. Pratt got really embarrassed. As you are going into high school, I hope the lessons that you learned while you were here at Christian Brothers um, give you uh, some peace. They give you some, um, in times of confusion and, and worry and all of those things, it gives you a little comfort to know that we prepared you. You can do anything you want to do and be as successful as you want to be. Uh, give 100% and do everything that, that, that you did while you were here and, and uh, put those tools to use. The sky is the limit. You can do anything you want to do. There's this time in 5R, so we all used to trade slice pops for good marks. And so we were reading a story and Mr. Raditich got really mad at us. And so he made us all charge 100 good marks. But I had just traded my last 100 to, for a slice pop. 
and so I couldn't pay it. Definitely my friends because everybody's gone to different high schools here but I'm moving to a different states so it's going to be kind of hard to stay in contact with everybody so it's definitely there. I wish you good luck in the future, uh, hopefully a maskless one, uh, and come back and see us. The teacher I would miss the most probably is Coach Radtich. He's always there to support you. If you ever need him, he's always there. He was always a great teacher, too. So one time in sixth grade, we were reading this book with Mr. Brown. I'm pretty sure it was called And Then There Were None. It was thundering outside. It was all scary, like the theme was perfect. And then right as we got to this point where someone was murdered, the thunder struck perfectly. And then all the power went out in the school for like the next hour. So that was pretty good. Well, hello there. What can I say about this graduating class? They're a great group of squirrels. Boys, good luck next year. We're going to miss you. I'm definitely going to miss drama. That's always super fun. The games you play, the one acts that Mr. Brown directs, it's also fun. I'm gonna miss volleyball. It's really just, that's my sport and it's so fun. And the team was great. We all just have this special bond when we're on it. For your future, just know that we're always here for you. If you want to come back and talk with us, if you need some advice on what's going on, I don't care if it's educational advice or personal advice, we are here for you. We, we uh, do that. I think that's something special that we've learned as a faculty. We've learned from the brothers, and that's the really great thing about a LaSallean community. So know that we're here for you. One of my favorite movements is just normally walking with most of my friends, uh, like enjoying the scenery on Berkey Circle and looking around ca uh, campus and City Park. It's a beautiful place to be. It was history class, Coach Crawford's class, and there was a uh, possum in the courtyard. And Coach had to waste like all of history class just to get that one possum. And apparently it had rabies and Coach through it. <laughs> it goes through it. I didn't need to do it. I've been knowing you guys, some of you, since you're in third and fourth grade. Uh, it has been 
my absolute pleasure to be a part of this group. And just because we're leaving, I hope you guys know that I'm here for you forever. I'm not hard to get in touch with, and I know Angelo is going to stay in touch with all you guys, but I love you guys. Probably the most special class I've ever been associated with. It has been my honor. I can't wait to see where your lives go. I can't wait to see your children, to see you as adults, and being the successful men that I know you're going to be. Much love, my boys. I'm always here for you. First of all, I'd like to congratulate the Christian Brothers School Class of 2022 for all of their um, hard work, uh, effort, commitment, and um, lasting dedication. I know it's been an unusual and difficult three years uh, compared to that of most who have walked the halls before you, uh, but you have uh, pushed through. You have always looked for the best in situations and you have taken advantage of the opportunities before you. And so today, I congratulate you on your graduation and I wish you the very best for continued success as you put all of those uh, lessons learned and tools that you were provided to good work um, as you take your next step into your respective high schools. Take what you've learned from Christian Brothers Create a wonderful life for yourself, but also remember to share your gifts so that you make the world a better place. Congratulations. Um, the teacher I'm probably gonna miss most What makes the class of 22 special? Oh my gosh, there are so many things. Special is a nice word to use for them. In fifth grade, there was a possum named Larry. <laughs> a good thing to do is make sure you floss your teeth, right? It's overlooked, right? You go to the dentist, they ask you, you've been flossing. You always say, yeah, sometimes it's a good idea. Keep it up, keep your teeth healthy, you know? Brush your teeth, floss, wear deodorant. Definitely wear deodorant, it's good for you. Um, yeah, I guess that's about it. Um, definitely racing Mr. McConnell. He <laughs> ended up falling, and <laughs> that was pretty funny. But it wasn't really funny after because he like horribly dislocated his arm. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. McConnell. Hi, I'm Nate Abercrombie. <laughs> uh. Hi, I'm Nate Abercrombie. <laughs>